I've been thinking about this winter and I've got a few options of what to do to keep this van as warm as possible for as cheap as possible and I think I've finally made up my mind. So as you'll know if you follow the channel we've had a few discussions about eating this van through winter because this van is not central heated. It has got double glazing, that's one thing. And we are starting to buy in extra rugs to put on the floor. We've got as an electric blanket. And we've got various duvets. So we've got spare ones, just in case you want one on settee, if it does get a bit nippy. We've got a gas fire. And we're gonna make sure we've always got at least two full gas bottles, just in case it does drop down to minus temperatures. We've done the cladding under the van and under sink inside van we are experimenting with a new thing that we're going to do and a lot of people are going to say it's a bit daft but i've been looking into skirting around the van fortunately it's quite expensive but we've decided to try something a little bit different we're going to put stakes around the bottom of this van all the way around it and then we've got what they call pallet wrap. So it's like cling film, but it's thicker and stronger. So we're going to wrap all around the base of this van using that. That's going to keep some of that wind out. But we've also been online and we've found these decorative things. I don't know what you call them. People put them on their verandas on caravans and they just look like lots of leaves. So we're going to attach those to these stakes and that pallet wrap so that's gonna help to keep the cold out and it's also gonna look decorative because we're putting that on the front so we'll make it as tidy as possible but the thing about doing that is to do the entire van even if it's only a temporary fix for the first year it's gonna cost 30 pounds all in so I think it's definitely worth a go but getting back to the eating for this van we've been toying with various things the diesel eater is a no-go we can't do that we could get central eating fitted there actually happens to be a couple of people on site at the moment that's getting central eating put in the vans which is a bit ironic but i'm still going to swerve it i said i would definitely do the first year in this van as it is with a few tweaks so i'm not going to fit central eating this year but then we've had options from loads of people that's commented and thank you so much for all your comments and i'm sorry that i've not had time to answer all those comments but i have read everyone so we got to a point where there was quite a few people saying can you install a log burner that i'm not sure about so i haven't looked any far into that then we've had suggestions of oil filled radiators and I know I've had these before and they are particularly good because they hold their heat after you've turned them off but I did used to have one at a market I used to work at and it seemed to take quite a lot of electricity although people have commented on this channel saying they're quite cheap to run so that was another option the third option was panel eaters and that's what I'm going to go with this year we can get them with built-in timers and at various wattages as low as two to three hundred watts and then going right up to two kilowatt and i know before anybody says anything that could prove quite costly on electricity but we've got the fire which runs off the gas canisters and we just want the eaters to take the edge off in the morning and at night if needs be so the advantage as far as i can see of those is for me to fit them and then we can set them timers to come in when we most need them we're going to put one in the shower room as well because there's nothing worse than coming out at shower in winter and it's freezing so we're going to get quite a small one to pop in there just to give it a little bit of warmth we're going to put one in the spare room and that's more to air it out through winter to try and avoid condensation we're going to have a small one in the bedroom as well but we have got that electric blanket and then we're going to put one in the living room so we can time that to come on at around nine o'clock in the morning 
So when we do get up and we're coming to the living room, it's not cold. And we'll keep his eye on that electric meter at the same time, just to make sure it's not running away with us. But I think if we use those, they can come on when we decide for a set amount of time and they shouldn't take much electric. We already know that we're going to use more gas because we've only been here through spring and summer. So it's obvious that we're going to have to buy extra gas in. But you do the exact same thing when you live in a house. The only disadvantage is what I said originally. There's no central eating. But we're going to make best of a bad job. And these eaters aren't that expensive. I'll show you when they arrive because we are ordering them tomorrow. And we're going to get, I think it's five or six that we're going to order. And it's going to cost us around £400 all in. And that includes delivery. And that's to sort out every single room in this caravan. So I think that's a pretty good deal considering that central eating to be installed would cost 1500 to 2000 I'm not saying I'm not going to put central eating in, but I just want to see what happens this year, spending the minimum amount of money and just using his own ideas. And the only thing that swayed me from the oil-filled radiators was the fact that you can fit a panel eater to the wall or to the side of this kitchen unit so it can aerate, it's off at floor and the flat, they're very thin and it will look a lot tidier than those oil filled radiators that you get on wheels. So that's the only thing that swayed me from doing that. So hopefully we can get those as soon as possible and I'll get them fitted in various places in this van and we'll see how we go with those. As I've mentioned previously, we've already got the thermal curtains. We still haven't put those up yet, but we are getting round to it. We've just been quite busy of it last week or so with other things. We know a really cheap shop that we found in Skegness. And they sell all various size rugs and various thicknesses as well. And very cheap. So there's nothing to stop us putting extra layers beneath his feet and in that kitchen. Especially since that kitchen has got wood flooring. We know that's going to be cold. But we're trying to concentrate on the main things like getting up in the morning and walking into a really cold room. We're trying to avoid that. Coming out of the shower into a very cold room. Or even getting undressed and going shower and it's freezing before you even get in there. And then the aeration of the place on top to avoid as much condensation as possible. So that's our thoughts on what we're going to do. And we're going to get on that as soon as possible. We'll order some tomorrow and I'll get them fitted in. They're going to look neat. They shouldn't be too expensive to run because of the way we're going to actually utilise them. And hopefully they'll keep this van warm enough through autumn and winter. If not, we'll have to rethink it come New Year. And we've already seen a couple of people having central eating fitted. So we know that that's available for us to do if we want to. But for this year, we're going to go with that idea of the £30 pallet wrap with that decoration on the outside to stop that cold getting underneath the van and then the panel eaters. So we'll see how that goes but thank you to everybody that's made your suggestions and there's no saying that in a couple of months time or maybe even a couple of weeks time I might change my mind and try something different. We'll see exactly how it goes. As you know it's his first time in a static caravan during winter and a lot of people have said the fact that it's not winterized as they call it and it hasn't got central eating is going to cause us quite a few problems if it only works temporary then that's fine we've then got plenty of time next year to readdress that situation and improve on it but if it does work out then maybe we'll just have to tidy a few bits and bobs up because if we're using pallet wrap round van that's attached to these stakes that we're going to put in ground we know we get really bad winds around there, so there is going to be some damage at some point. But if we can renew it for around £30 the following year, then I'll do that, rather than spend a couple of thousand on central eating, providing that all the way through autumn and winter we weren't sitting here with chills, because that's something we definitely don't want. I'm not going to sit in this van feeling cold. And if we can manage with the gas fire along the side of the electric heaters, then brilliant. But if not, we'll take a look next year and see how we can improve it. 
Anyway, thank you so much for being part of the channel. Thank you so much for all your suggestions and fingers crossed we can get through this autumn and winter without any problems. If you're interested in seeing other videos based around caravan life in UK, then please hit that subscribe button, press that notifications bell, and I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Take care.